All right, uh, let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for tonight, for this opportunity to gather once again as one church, oh God, to study deeper on your word. Bless this night, oh God, Holy Spirit, be our teacher tonight. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, palakpakan naman po natin ang Panginoon. Kung nasaan ka man, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. So thank you very much, uh, Jamil, for leading us in that great time of worship. So magandang gabi po. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Umiyak eh no. Uh, medyo na sobrang kaya tang pagkanta ko kanina sa ating praise and worship. Okay, so <coughs> I am Pastor Lotis Padilla by the way, no. I'm the wife of Pastor Sandy Padilla, so I will be the one to uh, lead us to share the word tonight. Okay, so very exciting po no ngayong gabi nito because tonight we are starting off with a new series sa ating pong life group. Ayan, so uh, palalalimin po natin no sino po sa inyo ang naka-attend nung Sunday service no last Sunday pwede bang pa-comment diyan ng present okay so last Sunday nag-start po tayo ng very exciting na series okay and uh, pinamagatan ko po tong title na to no pinagpaalam ko kay Pastor Carlo sabi ko kunin ko yung hashtag mo last Sunday tuwang-tuwa ako dun sa hashtag no ng ating topic last Sunday yan pakita mo nga Mark Hashtag buhay na may char. Ayan. <laughs> okay, alam niyo po, I'm not really uh, using these words, no? pero yung, even my kids, they were very excited no? last, ano, last, uh, last Sunday no? hearing these words from our senior pastor. Pero yung nga, maaaring nagtataka yung iba kung hindi kayo nakaten nung, nung last Sunday, no? bakit natin ginagamit yung word na yan? Ayan, nire-redeem po natin yan. In-explain ako yung Pastor Carly yan last Sunday. At later on, babalikan po natin yung review natin no yun nga ang goal natin sa life group ngayon yung mga messages ng Sunday mas lalo nating palalalimin para talagang matandaan natin at maisabuhay natin okay so by the way also I want to welcome baka may mga first timers po diyan it's your first time to join us tonight welcome no welcome po kayo sa ating online life group welcome to Destiny Church ayan pa comment po diyan sa comment section no first okay or pwedeng second timer ka na third timer ilagay mo din second third fourth regular ayan so welcome po ano samahan niyo po kami sa isang isang oras hanggang dalawang oras no na pagtatalakayan ng salita ng Diyos. Okay, so this will be a study on the book of Philippians. Ayan, sabihin nyo nga, Philippians. Okay, alam nyo ba itong uh, kung nakaten kayo ng morning service last Sunday during panel no nabanggit ko nga during processing na itong book of Philippians, ito ang isa sa favorite ko talagang book no even when I was still uh, in high school no may mga verses diyan na ginagamit ko nga no ginagamit ko na sinisend ko na message sa aking mga friends no even nung nagliligawan pa lang po kami ni Pastor Sandy no may mga verses diyan na ginagamit namin no uh, bigyan ko lang kayo ng mga sample no para uh, kiligin din tayo tinitin niyo to para ma-excite kayo pala no Uh, my, my goal tonight is to parang appetizer ito no kasi hanggang buwan ng Mayo pag-uusapan po natin ang Book of Philippians. So, Tingnan niyo tong Philippians chapter 1 verse 3 no sabi ni sabi ni Paul, I thank my God every time I remember you. Oo, char. <laughs> okay? Tapos sabi pa sa verse ito itong verse 7, alala ko sinin ko to kay Sandy no nung kami ay no nung mag-boyfriend pa lang kami no sabi dito It is right for me to feel this way about you. Okay, tinan niyo no, merong all of you yan eh. No, sinong katulad ko minsan pina-paraphrase mo yung verse no para masabi mo kung ano yung nasa puso mo talaga no. It is right for me to feel this way about you since I have you in my heart no. Tapos ako limit ka sunod pa yan eh yung sabi ni Paul whether I am in chains or depend <laughs> pero kinakat ko na nang dandun lang sa since I have you in my heart, ah, di ba? Ayan no. So sino diyan mga katulad ko pina-paraphrase yung verse, sabi ko nga na para tumugma sa gusto mong sabihin. Okay, ito isa pa, no? Sa chapter 4 verse 1. Okay? Sabi diyan, no? Ah, uh, ito ginagamit minsan ng mga boys, no? Sa mga sisters, no? Sabi diyan, therefore. Ang sabi diyan, therefore my brothers and sisters, pero sino shortcut minsan, sinasalagay lang. Therefore my sister, you whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, dear friend. Oh, kunwa kunwari pang stand firm in the Lord, no? Ginamit pa si Lord, pero ang gusto lang talagang sabihin ay I love you. I long for you, no? Ma 
Char, mature sila. Okay? So, but praise God, yung last Sunday, no, we were given a background on this book. No, these are uh, let, let's just go over no. These are some of the things ako personally no, some of the things that I learned last Sunday. I-review lang natin no. Unang-una, okay? Uh, we learned that the the book of Philippians was a letter to the church. Okay? So ito po ay sulat. Yes, it was a letter. It sounded like a love letter, but it was not a love letter sa nililigawan ni Paul or sa crush niya, hindi po no. It was actually a love letter to the church, no. So nung sinabi niyang I thank my God every time I remember you, he was telling it to the church, no. Nung sinabi niyang it is right for me to feel this way because I have you in my heart, he was expressing it to the church. No, nung sinabi niyang, I love you, I long for you, you are my joy and my crown, he was expressing his love for the church. Yan. Another thing no, that uh, we learned last Sunday, Paul wrote, so this is, a, this is a letter, and he wrote this letter while he was in prison. Wow! Can you imagine no, writing a letter that is full of love and yet, no, grabe, nasa kulungan pala si Peter. No, nung, uh, si Paul, sorry, si Paul, nung sinulat niya tong uh, Book of Philippians, no? how can someone who is in prison be so full of love, full of joy, and has been a great source of encouragement? No, tayo nga, di ba? Nasa bahay lang tayo ngayon, nakakulong. Ang hirap maging joyful, di ba? Ang lungkot, di tayo makalabas. No, summer ngayon, no, nasaan ka dapat ngayon? Nasa Burakay. Pero, no, nandiyan ka na lang sa, ano yan, sa batya. Sa batya na lang. <laughs> Nagsiswimming. And one thing we miss no, sa family is yung yung anytime ba sa gabi, pwede kang lumabas no, para kumain kasi may 7-11 na open 24 hours a day. Pero ngayon, maging ang 7-11, no, may curfew na. Alas 8, sarado na. So, affected no, yung happiness natin. Or maybe some of us, ilang weeks ka nang nakakulong sa ospital no, or sa isolation area. No? Sobrang lungkot. No? Pero ano ang mas lulungkot pa sa nakakulong ka sa totoong kulungan. Yun. And yun nga, based on research na banggit po ni Pastor Carlo ah, ng preachers natin last Sunday, most prisoners are unhappy. They are unhappy all the time. No, they usually contemplate on suicide or self-mutilation. At ang suicide rate po sa kulungan ay 5 to 15 percent. Pero yun nga, in spite of Paul's imprisonment, uh, which leads me to, to the next lesson, the dominant tone of Paul's letter is joyful. Ayan, sabi mo nga, joyful. Isigaw mo, joyful. <laughs> Okay, so dapat masaya tayo ngayon, no? Let's at yung ilang beses no uh, last night binasa ko po yung buong Book of Philippians. Gusto ko lang ma-review ulit, magkaroon ng overview. At yun nga no, ilang beses na banggit yung jo- yung word na joy, rejoice, glad sa buong book. Ayun, so dapat no, smile happy lang, mag- masaya tayo ngayon. Okay? So, andito rin sa Book of Philippians, no? baka hindi aware yung iba, andito rin sa Book of Philippians yung mga famous and favorite memory verses natin. No? I- I- i-remind ko lang para no, ma-excite tayo. Ito, yung Philippians 1.21, nabanggit na to last week. No? Sabi ni Paul, andyan yung, For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Grabe, no? Okay, kailan pa naging pakinabang ang kamatayan, pero grabe talaga, full of joy talaga si Paul, no? Uh, kaya niyang sabihin niya, nasa loob siya ng uh, kulungan. Ayan, sa chapter 2, nakalagay doon yung imitating Christ's humility. Chapter 3, the priceless value of knowing Christ. And then, sa Philippians 3.14, ayan, i-share ko lang, ito yung mga mini- memory mem- memory verses natin, eh. Andyan yung verse na, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Ayan, sa Philippians chapter 4, ito yung favorite verse natin, no? Kapag worried ka at kailangan mo ng peace, ito yon verse 6 and 7 ng chapter 4. Do not be anxious anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. No, nasa Philippians po yan. Ito pa. Naalala yung ating ten-finger 
rule, no? Ten finger rule at yung life verse ni Stephen Curry. Sino yung mga ano diyan, mga followers ni Stephen Curry. Okay? Yung yo may, may sumigaw dito aking anak, talagang inaabangan niya ang bawat shoot no ni Stephen Curry. Ano ang life verse ni Stephen Curry? No, yung ten finger rule, Philippians 4:13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Ayan, nasa Philippians 4:13. Ay exciting ang Philippians chapter 4, no? Ito pa. Favorite verse natin to pag wala na tayong pera, hulaan nyo. Type nyo dyan. <laughs> okay? Philippians 4.19 And my God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Can you imagine this very powerful verses, encouraging verses, no, lahat ito, no? Isinulat ni Paul nung siya ay nasa kulungan. Ayan. So, so what's exciting is in this series no on the study of Philippians, mas maiintindihan po natin ang mga verses na to, no? So don't miss any of our Sunday services, online life groups and also our prayer meetings, no? Because all these online meetings will focus on the study on the book of Philippians. And invite first timers also because for sure, no, our first timers will be blessed. Ayan. review lang natin ha. No, uh, bakit char, no? Bakit buhay na may char? Okay. So, So natuwa lang ako, natuwa lang ako discuss ni Pas- ni Pastor Carlo to last Sunday no in even our our preachers. Okay. So yung Greek word pala no so mag-aaral tayo ng Greek word. Ayun, chara. Ayun, no, natuwa kami kasi yung anak ko, ang pangalan niya Sara. So parang gusto ko siyang tawagin Chara. <laughs> chara. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, ang ibig sabihin niya ay inner joy. Okay? Tapos yung Charin. Ayan, no? nung, nung binanggit ni Pastor Kali ang Charin, naalala ko si Ate Shaleen. <laughs> okay, parang Japanese version ng Shaleen. Charin. Okay, yung isip pala, pala nun, story joys. Kaya pala si, ano, no? si Ate Shaleen, very joyful siya, no? talagang uh, masayahin. No? At yun nga, yung Chara Charin, no? they were derived from the same root word, Char. Oh, kaya pala, buhay na may... Char. Ayan. So, nire-redeem natin no? yung mga words na yan. Pwede na natin gamitin kasi no Greek word pala yung char na yan. Okay? And I, oh, I want to also give you a recap no ng teaching last Sunday yan para mas maalala natin. Ha? So, ito po yung tinuro ni, ng preachers natin last Sunday. Four reasons. No, bakit gano'n? No? Bakit uh, nasa kulungan si Paul? Pero bakit gano'n? No? Hindi nawala yung kanyang joy yung kanyang gladness no he was full of joy and he is always rejoicing at siya pa talaga yung nag encourage no uh, i think philippians chapter 4 verse 4 yun yung yung verse na rejoice in the lord always and again i say rejoice ayan so andiyan po yung apat na reason first joy paul's joy was rooted in the faithfulness of god no it's because of his passion purpose and perspective. No napakaganda po nung uh, nung topic natin last Sunday. So for tonight, I want us to focus on answering a question kasi po every Sunday part ako ng panel. Tapos napansin ko lang, merong ano eh kahit ano yung topic, merong binabatong tanong na may parati talaga nanggagaling sa mga viewers natin, no? Ito yung question that is commonly used when it comes to being joyful in the midst of crisis and circumstance. Ito ano, ito, ito yung question na encourage someone to be joyful while he or she is going through an adversity. No, madalas po yung tanong na yan. Paano mo encourage na maging masaya ang isang taong dumadaan sa napakabigat na problema? Yung nga, madaling sabihin eh, na dapat hindi ka affected ng circumstances. Dapat joyful ka in whatever situation. Pero sometimes, no, these people who go through adversity, actually din eh, they, they have boasted about the faithfulness of God. No? They used to be passionate. They used to be focused on their purpose. But suddenly, because of a problem, circumstance, or adversity, it's hard to believe. No? Parang ang hilap ng paniwalaan ng promises ng Lord. They begin to doubt God. They lose their passion. They lose their purpose and their perspective or the right attitude. Now, I remember po, When I learned that my brother Angelo, na aking pong kapatid si Pastor Jelo, nung nalaman ko po na siya ay nag-positive sa COVID, actually it was during our night of fire no nung April 6. So I received the news from my sister-in-law si Pastor Elie while I am on come in Zoom live. 
So nung nabasa ko yun, oh, grabe, I can't accept it. I can't believe it. No, my my heart wanted to burst no in tears. So ang tinuturo pa naman ni Pastor Carlo no, kung naka kayo is about focusing. Pero grabe, nahirapan po talaga ako mag-focus. Parang gusto ko nang, um, ano, I was sitting in, on the same uh Uh, seat, no? Parang gusto ko nang umalis, no? Gusto ko nang mag-off cam, umalis at umiyak na lang sa Lord at mag-pray. And yun nga po, on that same uh, on, on that same night, no, the following day, I was scheduled to lead the prayer meeting. Ako nakaschedule na mag-lead ng prayer meeting. May outline na po ako. Pero sabi ko kay ate siya, ate, hindi ko kaya mag-lead. Parang gusto kong ipasa. <laughs> no? Kasi baka sabi ko, baka hindi ko makontrol yung emotions ko. No? But thank God, my pastor, she encouraged me. Sabi niya, relax lang. Na ito yung mga exactong words na sinabi niya sa akin, relax lang, pray lang, speak ka in tongues, build your faith, cast out fears. And nung sinabi ko na parang gusto kong ipasa yung paglilid ng prayer, sabi niya, no, you can do it. All the more we need to come to God in prayer, in our sorrow and in our deepest need and in our weakness, God supplies the strength. And praise God, no, naitawid ko po yung prayer meeting na yun. Actually, that prayer meeting led us to daily praying for the sick online. No? So yun nga, how do, I, how, how do I encourage my brother that time? Hindi ko talaga ma-message yung kapatid ko nung time na yun. Kasi yun, yun nga, sa GC lang, meron kaming group chat sa family. No? Doon, doon kami nagkukumustahan. No? A private message through my sister-in-law. And <clears throat> parang, yun nga, parang takot. Takot ko siyang kumustahin ng direct kasi baka hindi ko kayanin yung sagot niya no parang something like that. And uh, during the three weeks of my brother's battle for life no actually uh, pang third week na ngayon. Uh, there's two things that I observed. Ayan. so two things na i-share ko po sa inyo, two points lang po. Okay, na nakita ko. No how do we help others who are going through adversities? No paano natin tutulungan na maibalik no yung kanilang joy? Number one, Okay. Active prayer of the church. So how do we bring back? No, Maring may, may naisip ka ba ngayon no, ng mga tao na uh, kailangan ng prayer, they need encouragement, no, they need uh, kay, parang depressed na, hopeless na, no, they've given up already, no, wala na, na wala na yung joy, no, dating masayahin, dating bangka sa kwentuhan, no, biglang No, dating kalabasa, naging papaya. <laughs> okay. So one two things, one the first thing that I've observed that is very powerful is active prayer of the church. So take note, hindi lang po siya prayer, it is active. No, may explain ko po yung active. At hindi lang prayer, active prayer of the church or in our case Destiny Church. Okay. Uh in Philippians chapter 1 verse 19, no, nabasa na po natin to last Sunday because we read the the verses from Uh, verse 1 to 23. Sabi diyan no, sabi ni Paul. I am going to keep on being glad for I know that as you pray for me and as the Holy Spirit helps me, this is all going to turn out for my good. Okay? So sabi niya, I know that as you pray for me. So this is not no Uh, ito, we watch a movie in Netflix. I think, ano ba yung title na nani? Apostle, Apostle Paul. Pinanood po namin. Apostle Paul? Apostle of Christ. Apostle of Christ. Okay. Hindi mo sa title. Basta napakaganda pong pelikula. Grabe no, yun yun, pinakita rin nung nasa prison si Apostle Paul. Kitang-kita talaga yung active prayer ng church para kay Paul. No? Barnabas, si Barnabas, no, bibisitahin siya sa jail. Then he will bring news to the church, headed by Priscilla and Aquila. And then the church would pray and fast for him. And then they will check on him again. No, uh, alamin ang update ni Paul. And then the church will pray again. The church did not stop praying for him. So yun nga, no? so yun yung active prayer ng church. No, when I learned that my brother was positive with COVID, of course I prayed for him. Actually, that night, halos hindi po talaga ako nakatulog sa kakaiyak, no, pleading for God on his behalf. And yung nga, I was privileged to lead the prayer meeting the following morning. So I took that opportunity for the whole church you know, to pray for him. And then first time then, one of the blessings uh, that came out of this is first time we had a prayer meeting as a family, you no, know, sa Zoom. 
uh, puro, kasi kami sa family sa balag tas puro lang kami ano, banding pasyal ganyan nagpe-pray naman kami ano, pag may celebration no, prayer sa pagkain pero first time ito nang we really prayed together for more than an hour we praised and worshiped God no, there was exter- exhortation of God's word we were crying were, while praying and declaring God's promises no, our kids yung mga pamangking ko no, three years old uh, seven years old No, they also prayed. No, each one of them they prayed for their tito. So, pag may and pag may good news and development, nag yun naggather kami ulit sa Zoom to worship and pray for other prayer requests. And yun nga actually there was one time may nagtanong, pwede bang ishare yung situation ni Pastor Jelo sa church no para maipagpray siya? Ay yung sagot, of course, no, of course we can share. Why? Because this is a battle of the whole church. No, hindi lang to sariling battle niya or sariling battle ng family. This is a battle of the whole Destiny Church. The church should know so the whole church can pray. Actually, my my brother he testified no uh, last Sunday and two Sundays ago. Nas actually no there was a night na parang give up na siya for four hours. Hindi siya makahinga. No parang yung ready na rin siya na Lord kung kukunin mo ako. And then sabi niya, there was a time si Pastor Carlo he was leading the prayer meeting. Binanggit niya si si Jello. And then nag-agree lahat. Nag-agree kayo sa prayer. Salamat po. So, sabi para daw may power no. Para naramdaman niya may power na bumagsak sa kanya. And yun, that was the night, no, that uh, that was the morning no, that he felt the power of God reviving him. No, kaya no, after that, after how many days tinanggal na yung oxygen, tinanggal na yung dextrose and right now, no nagre-recover uh, na lang po siya, inaantay na lang namin ang paglabas niya. And yun nga, even here in Alaminos, one leader asked me, no, kasi nakita niya sa GC ng prayer Uh, prayer warriors, yung names ng mga may COVID. Tapos tinanong niya ako, pinim niya ako, ate, okay lang po bang i-post at manggitin ang names ng mga to? And I said, of course. Actually, by the time nag-message siya sa akin, tapos nang napag-pray ng live ni Pastor Carlo na yung mga pangalan na yon. Alam niyo po, Church, gone are the days when we hide names of people who needs prayer. Ngayon, people themselves are sending their names. Why? They know that they need the prayers of the whole church. Paul also depended on the prayers of the church. That's why he continued to be joyful. He maintained his faith in God. He never lost his passion, his purpose, and his perspective. So active prayer. Sabi mo active prayer, no? Ano sabi na active prayer? Hindi lang basta yung I will pray for you. No, there was one time yung isang batchmate ko elementary, way back 1980s pa. No, uh, she messaged me, please pray for my sister. No, she will undergo an uh, open surgery. No, nasa Kuwait. So hindi ko lang siya sinabi, nireply na okay, I will pray for you. No, sabi ko. Uh, what is her name? Can I get her name? What is her sickness? No, kailan yung operation niya? So sabi ko, okay, I will pray for her tomorrow in our prayer meeting. Invite her to attend so she can join the whole church no, in prayer. Tapos kinumusta ko. Tapos invite mo pa, attend ka Sunday service. I'll, our pastor will share about joy through every circumstance. So attend ka para mag-grow yung faith mo. And then kumustahin mo, anong development, no, ano pang ipagpipray natin. We will not stop praying until we see the answers to our prayers. And when our our prayers are answered no alam mo yun, kung gaano ka passionate sa prayer mo no nung pinagpe-pray mo yung need all the more na mas passionate dapat ang praise thanksgiving and worship natin kapag nasagot na okay so that is active prayer don't just pray kumustahin mo yung pinagpe-pray mo okay number two. no how we help bring back the joy to those who are going through adversity encouragement from believers. Ayan, binanggit po ni Apostle Paul yan sa verse 3 to 5. Sahin ko lang po. Sabi niya, My prayers for you are full of praise to God as I give Him thanks for you with great joy. I'm so grateful for our union and our enduring partnership that began the first time I presented to you the gospel. So, gra- grabe, no? Grabe yung partnership, yung encouragement ng church in, in uh, Church of Philippi kay Paul. Mula daw nung unang araw na tinanggap nila ang gospel, hanggang makulong no, si Apostle Paul, hindi nila siya iniwan, hindi siya pinabayaan. Sobrang nakaka-encourage yun, no? Hindi tumigil ang padala nila ng ayuda kay Paul. <laughs> okay? And then in verse 7 also, sabi ni Paul sa verse 7, It's no wonder I pray with such confidence 
since you have a permanent permanent place in my heart you have remained partners with me in the wonderful grace of god even though i'm here in chains for standing up for the truth of the gospel no sabi niya do pina highlight ko you have remained partners grabe no so nung time na yon wala pang cellphone wala pang messenger or video call but they use letters letters to encourage one another no wala pang shopee noon wala pang fund transfer no but they were able to send their support to paul No. So we are on quarantine right now. Hindi tayo nakikita-kita pero nakakatuwa lang, no? Para ako po, no, kung kailan nag-lockdown, kung kailan quarantine, I was able to reconnect, no, with my elementary batchmates, yung mga old friends, no, because they need uh, nakita nila nagpe-pray tayo ng mga may sakit. So nagme-message talaga sila, please include me in prayer, please pray for me, pray for my husband, pray for my sister, pray for my nephew. Ayun. So Praise God. No, we need no encouragement. No, sabi nga natin yung encouragement. It's like oxygen to the soul. No, yung bang gigive up ka na, hopeless ka na, susuko ka na. Pero biglang may nang encourage sa yon. Na nabubuhayan ka. So right, I wanna end with a testimony. Last 2018. No, kung paano na katulong sa akin na yung encouragement. Last 2018, so 2021 ngay, almost three years ago. I had a miscarriage on our third baby. So, kwento ko lang ng konti. Actually, hindi ko talaga, ayaw ko na talagang magkaroon no, ng third baby. Okay na ako. No? We had David and Sarah, boy and girl. Feeling ko kompleto na. So, it was uh, our kids who were really desperate. No? They were requesting for additional uh, younger baby. So, then suddenly, through prayer, just confirmation then through a pastor, my word, and then, Uh, I have a promise from God na itong Psalms 127 verse 3. No? Hindi ko na nailagay dyan sa slides. Yung sabi, know this children are a gift from the eternal. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Okay, so we, we, we prepared for it. We decided. And I got pregnant. Praise God. And yung nga, and then, but no, monthly check up. First month, second month, wala pa rin heartbeat. Hanggang third month. May may warning na yung doctor sa akin no na obserbahan pa rin natin yung pag one week wala pa rin uh, mukhang sabi niya mukhang hindi na buo yung baby okay so when i heard those news grabe uh, parang i really cried no i really cried and w- the first person that i contacted was my pastor no si pastor Shelin i i knew he siya talaga yung makakaintindi sa akin because she also went through this no i remember there was a time In two years, she had two miscarriages. So, tapi ko paano kaya pinagdaanan, no? Pinagtagum pa yani ati siya lini to. And I, I was really crying to her, and she and I shared everything, no? Lahat ng nararamdaman ko. And I remember to yung mga words na sinabi niya sa akin. Sabi niya, it's okay to be sad. Yeah, it's okay to cry. Need mo din iprocess yan from the inside out. No, grabe, nagminister talaga itong mga words na ito na yun, hindi ko nakalimutan eh. I was able to write them down because those words really ministered to me. She answered all my questions. She shared her experiences, how she went through two miscarriages and how she overcame it. I told her that I was researching kung ano yung naging cause nito. No, pero sabi niya, sabi niya ati siya sa akin, ito yung, these were the very words that will encourage me. Yes, sabi niya, it's out of our control. It's in God's control. God's will be done. He knows what is best. Stop reading. Stop googling. Sabi niya pa sa akin, trust God. The outcome belongs to Him. And it is for His glory. So, I I, I meditated no, on these words and then... Uh, come following week, I was already bleeding. Ayun na, I, I can really feel that no, there's no more life inside of me. No, naramdaman ko talaga. And during those times, I was crying. I was really tempted to question God. No, ito yung mga naglalaro sa isip ko. Sabi ko, kukunin mo rin pala. Why do I have to go through this? No, why do I have to go through the pain? Why did you give me a promise? No, you gave me a word and I trusted all those words. And yun na nga, no, I spent much already. No, Actually, Uh, ito yung time na talagang lahat ng vitamins na bili ko no and nakabili na ako ng mga maternity clothes no ready ready na no maternity clothes na pang preach and you know, Satan was putting many questions in my mind but you know what na tempt lang po but I never questioned God no I was just tempted but I know it is not it is not right to question God and I heard God's voice telling me sabi niya will you trust me in this that indeed 
the fruit of your womb is my reward. And I told and I told God, yes, Lord, I trust you. And then again, I message my pastor. Sabi na atis sa akin, the exact words that she told me: trust God, trust Him, and trust your doctor's discretion. Give your baby a name and say goodbye. You will meet your baby in heaven. Our babies are in the hands of God. So, pinangalanan namin no. Uh, Uh, Stephen James. Okay. Stephen James. <laughs> yun yung pagkasunduan na yung pangalan niya. Okay? Tapos sabi natin siya, hindi nagtuloy yun. It's chromosomal problem but you still conceived. Sa legal papers, counted siya. Relax and do deep breathing as you trust him more. And this is the verse that really strengthened me. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Prayer, active prayer of the church. And number two, encouragement from believers. Kaya po, napaka-importante na meron kang life group. I thank God I have a life group leader, I have a pastor, I have a disciple whom I can run to no, anytime. And no, nga, she is she is ready really to minister to me. Parang yun nga, naging oxygen talaga yun. Yung parang uh, mauubusan ka na ng hininga, hindi ka na makahinga. And then those words really encourage me. Kaya, no, pag wala ka pang life group, I want to encourage you, no, uh, mag-message ka dyan, mag-comment ka dyan. I want to become part of a life group and we will find a life group no, na bagay para sa'yo because we need the church, we need the encouragement. Kung paanong si Paul din, no, nakita niya, sabi niya, sobrang na-appreciate niya no, yung permanent, yung loyalty, yung faithfulness ng Church of Philippians na yun ang nagbigay, nakatulong sa kanya no, para yung joy niya, yung gladness niya ay uh, hindi mawala sa kanyang puso. Ayan. So, right now, I want I want to invite everyone to pray. Let's pray right now. I don't know, maybe it's their first timers right now. It's your first time to join us. I would just want to invite you to just give your life to Jesus. The book of Philippians is full of encouraging words. Sobrang nakaka-encourage yung mga promises na nasa book of Philippians. But these promises are addressed to the church, addressed to believers. So the first thing I want you to do is to just put your faith in Jesus. That is the first step for us to experience this joy, this gladness in the midst of circumstance. Yung buhay na may char kahit na may pinagdadaanan ng mabibigat na problema kahit na nasa kulungan ka maaring nasa kulungan ka sa nakakulong ka sa bahay nakakulong ka sa ospital sa isolation area malungkot malapit nang maubos ang iyong pag-asa just put your faith in God right now put your faith in him come on just Just pray this prayer with me, saying, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I give my life to you. I put my faith in you. I need you, Lord. I need you, Jesus. Help me, O oh God, in this time of need. I want to experience joy in the midst of this circumstance. Lord, Lord, reach out your hand upon me. Show your power upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Father, I pray for everyone who put their faith in you tonight, oh Lord. Lord, touch them, oh God. Lord, embrace them, Lord. Let them feel your love, oh God. Let them feel, Lord, that we have a Father there in heaven, O God, always ready to reach out to us. We have a God who is in control, who, who knows what is best for us. Sometimes we don't understand, but you understand everything, O God. Oh God, Father, let your voice be heard. Lord, maramdaman namin ang yakap mo, Panginoon. Ang boses mo, marinig namin ang sweet words mo, Panginoon. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name.
I want to pray also right now for everyone who's going through some some circumstance, problem, adversity. Bigay mo yan sa Panginoon, kapatid. God is in control. Cast your care upon Him for He cares for you. Yes, it's okay to cry out. Naiiyak ka. Iiyak mo sa Panginoon yan. Ibuhos mo sa Kanya. You know, our God, when you cry out to Him, He will not condemn you. He will not look down on you. He will not judge you. But He, His arms are always open to hug you, to carry you. Sige, yakapin mo siya, ram, ramdamin mo ang yakap niya. He is there. You are alone, nag-iisa ka, you feel so lonely. God is with you. Andiyan ang Lord, katabi ka niya. His presence is with you. He is with you wherever you are. Oh God, oh God, Father, Lord, Lord, I release your presence. I release your spirit, your gentle spirit upon everyone who is praying with us right now, oh God. Lord, let your presence be felt, oh God. Let your embrace be felt, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let your comfort, oh God, Lord, be felt by everyone, oh God, joining us, Lord, in this live stream, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And maybe there are some of you here, may mga kaibigan, kakapamilya ka, no? may pinagdadaanan, at hindi mo alam kung paano sila encourage, kung paano sila, kung paano sila tulungang maibalik yung joy sa kanila. Right? I want to pray for you to have compassion. Father, give us the compassion to reach out, oh God. Give us the compassion to actively support in prayer, oh God, Lord. Marami pong nangangailangan ng panalangin ngayon, oh God. Father, give us the compassion, Lord, to give time, give our heart, oh God, Lord, Lord, to pray for everyone, to actively pray for everyone who needs prayer. Even the whole Destiny Church, oh God, we want to commit ourselves to be a blessing, oh God, to everyone who is sick, to everyone who's going through some adversity in life, oh God, Lord, 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 in the name of Jesus, oh God, give us that compassion, even give us that heart, oh God, Lord, to, to give encouragement, Lord, to, to even give message, Lord, to spend time, Lord, give encouragement, Lord, exhortation, oh God, Lord, that will strengthen, Lord, ang mga kapatid, kapamilya po namin, kaibigan namin na nangangailangan ng encouragement, oh God, Father. Even show them to us, ipakita niyo po sa amin yung mga tao, Lord, na nangangailangan ng panalangin, nangangailangan ng encouragement, nangangailangan ng hope, oh God, sa panahong ito. Lord, oh God, Lord, make us a blessing. Make Destiny Church a blessing, oh God. Father, we want to thank you. Come on, just thank God right now. Thank God. We want to thank you for your presence. We want to thank you for your love. We want to thank you for your word, oh God, that is always encouraging us and directing us. Father, we want to thank you, God. Even we ask that you bless the rest of the time as we pray and even as we process, oh God, your word. Bless this time, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless everyone. Thank you, Pastor Lotis, for sharing a wonderful message tonight and imparting to us, especially when you shared to us your testimony, no, napaka uh, touching po ng inyong testimony. And yun nga po, for the viewers naman who joined us tonight, you can send us your prayer request by typing it in the comment boxes. And yun po, no, I know every online life group or Sunday services, we can relate to the teaching. And maybe you know, some of us uh, viewing tonight, we have questions as well. So join us further and process with us, process the teaching with us to hear more of the insights and also experiences from our panelists. So may I call in our pastors and leaders from different set, uh, Destiny satellites to join us in the processing. So you may now turn on your cameras. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Pastor Chris and Pastor Mia. Good evening, Pastor Raji. Also, no, we have tonight also joining us once again, Pastor Lotis. And 
Ayan, and si Sir Joem din po kasama natin ngayong gabing ito. You know, we are so blessed, Pastor Lottis, for sharing another impartation of char moment <laughs> ngayong gabi. Okay, so, at po, ano, And the teaching is very timely, na, I can say. No? Since we are all in the same page, po, no? not just one nation suffering from this pandemic and even no, depression, hindi lang isang nation, but the whole world actually is in the same page right now. So the world is in need of joy, not just happiness that they can get from social media, no? if you can agree with, with me, not from what their money can't buy. No, ngayon na-prove natin na, Money can't buy everything. No, money cannot buy joy and even happiness. And we know happiness come and go, you know, because the world now has a different perspective and definition of joy. And so people have the tendency to believe on just being positive, no? Marami ako nababasang quotes ngayon, no? Just talagang, nilalaban talaga nila yung staying positive. And yun na lang, ano nila, last, last word nila in this, in this pandemic. And, being positive can last, as we all know, no? and we need something more than that, um, more deeper than that. And and one of the questions na uh, itatanong ko po ngayon is, di ba, it's, it's so easy to say na, don't worry, be happy. No? Siguro, at one point in your life, nagamit ka na rin yung word na yun. At yun nga, no? just be positive. No? Madaling mag-advice talaga. No? Uh, don't worry, be happy, stay positive. But, no, para sa atin, no, this question actually is for us, no, not about helping other people. No, at one moment in your life, um, have you ever felt really down and you felt na parang there's no more joy inside of you? How do you, how did you encourage yourself? And uh, uh, practically speaking, and also you can answer biblically. No? So I think Pastor Amy is very ready <laughs> to answer this question. Ready ako in a way na ang dami kong pinagdanang discouragement kay pandemic. Um, I, I started really saying that pandemic is really a blessing to me as a working mom because I work in Taguig. And then I go home. Uh, nandito lang ako sa, I go home every week. Nandito lang ako sa province for three days. And then I go back. So napagod ako. And then I remember posting something like December 2019, I said, uh, I, I hope I am praying and I'm hoping for a day na hindi na ako magbabiyahe at kasama ko ng family ko. And then came the pandemic. So it started out having the right perspective na, yeah, although pandemic, ang laki ng blessing niya sa akin. But <laughs> after a while, nang naramdaman ko na yung pagod na lagi akong puyat dahil mag-aalaga ka ng bata, gigising ka. So 8 to 5, not, not only 8 to 5 yung work mo, it could go as late as, di ba, 1 to sawa. And then, Eventually, I was complaining. I lost the joy. Love ko naman yung family ko. Love ko yung mga anak ko. Pero bakit yung heart ko more on complaining na pagod na pagod na ako. Wala na akong pahinga. Wala akong day off. <laughs> Parang ganoon. So how did I encourage myself? One is, um, it helped to have partnership. <laughs> yung shiner ni Ate Lots. Yung accountability group. Ate Lots would agree because I'm part of her group, accountability group, I would always share this. Na pagod na pagod na ako. And then, naiiyak pa ako yung ganon. Pero after you release, sometimes kailangan mo lang ikwento. Sometimes kailangan mo lang talagang pangalanan yung nararamdaman mo. Na pagod ka, wala kang pahinga. Tapos, marirealize mo after you cry out, after you share, wala na. <laughs> Yan yung some, some of the practical ways that I make sure I share it to someone pag hindi ko na kaya. So, I will not ever, ever think na nakakahiya, pastora pa naman ako, tapos malalaman nila, napakaliit na bagay, pinoproblema ko, pati mga ganyan, dami pang mga ibang tao na mas matitindi ang problema. Parang ganon. So, kung iisipin ko that way, I will not seek help. I will not seek for someone to listen to me. And siguro ilang beses this year, di ba ate, kung ilang mes- beses ko kayong message na nung last pa, nung... Uh, I think it was Night of Fire about being disengaged. Well, Pastor Carlo was preaching. I was, <laughs> and I, I, and I remember Atelot's para. That was also the day Atelot's learned about Pastor Jealous condition. But I did not know. I was also yeah. going through my own problem, <laughs> di ba po? And then I was saying, Lord, Ate, my heart is not right. I'm crying all th- throughout the preaching. I'm not okay. And then 
Atelots told me, ito another practical that I learned from Atelots, it's okay, just cry up to God. So, magress ka sa presence na Lord, na, uh, sa presence ng Lord. And this is so real to me. Every time hindi ko na mahandle yung emotion ko, the joy is taken away from my heart, I would find a safe place, a silent place where I could really cry out to God and say, Lord, pagod na pagod talaga ako. I can be honest to God and say, ayoko tong pinagdadaanan ko. Parang pwede bang tapos tapusin mo na to yung mga ganun. But alam mo yun, you, you can just be real about how you feel. And that's, those are some of the things na it really helped me you know, bring back the joy. I remember having ano, parang sunod-sunod yun na quiet time ko. One of my prayer would be, Lord, I will I will not allow this to take away the joy because I I recognize na wala nang joy sa heart ko. And then another way, no, biblically, um, I would always remember this verse in the Bible to take captive of your thoughts <laughs> because sometimes as a woman, I'm not sure kung women lang yung ganito, but we tend to overthink. I tend to overthink myself as a melancholic. Yung ito lang yung problema pero ang dami ko nang naisip. So I tend to overthink. And then when I go to my prayer closet, uh, when I pray to God, I would say, God, is what I'm feeling correct? <laughs> is this really valid? So if yes, then I would just cry out to God. And then if not, may mga kasi nag-OA nag na lang ako, nagdadrama, tas Lord, take it away. Para hindi ako pa bebe. <laughs> and then, madalas yon that situation would would come kapag kami yung hindi okay. Sorry, honey, nandas pat kita. <laughs> Kasi bilang naka-lockdown po tayo, real na real ang mga problemang mag-asawa. It's been the longest that we've been together, 24-7. So, yung mga panahon na yon pag masyado na akong madrama, I would say, God, masyado na yatang negative ako mag-isip sa asawa ko. Give me the same mind as yours. And then, yeah, that's... That's how it helps to bring back the joy. Na ma encourage ko yung sarili ko na, you know, this is not the end. <laughs> and there's so so many things to be grateful for. Yung dami ko ng shin niya. <laughs> Yan oh. lang po. Oo oh, nga. Wow. Sa, da- sa dami. <laughs> ano gusto mong... Sige pa, dam- perfect. <laughs> Actually, sa dami ng shin niya, parang wala na akong maishishin. <laughs> okay. Pero parang i-add ko lang talaga at i-emphasize no, na may mga times talaga na kahit kahit na may accountability group ka, dumarating talaga yung point na kahit sila parang wala nang magagawa sa sitwasyon mo para i-encourage ka. Pero yun nga, may, may verse sa Bible na very known sa ating lahat. Yung, and David encouraged himself and strengthen and encourage himself to God. So actually, minsan... Dumarating sa point talaga na ikaw mismo, hindi mo na rin ma-encourage ang sarili mo. Pero the moment you surrender everything to the Lord, doon manggagaling yung source of strength. At doon din manggagaling yung source of encouragement. It's only God talaga. Sa, kaya real na real po yung pinreach po ngayon ni, ni ate, no, ni Pastora Lotis, about prayer. Na talagang iiyak mo na lahat dyan, talagang isurrender mo na lahat sa kanya. And, and doon lang talaga mag-change yung atmosphere, doon lang talaga mag matitake mm-hmm. captive lahat ng negative thoughts, lahat ng fear, lahat ng worries mo. So, ano talaga, para ma-encourage mo yung sarili mo, surrender mo talaga pa rin sa Panginoon kasi sa kanya manggagaling yung encouragement. Ayan po. Wow. Yeah, ang, ang ganda ng um, pagkakashare ninyo ngayong gabi nito. No? Thank you for Viray Couple. Pastor, Pastor sa Viray. Viray <laughs> Couple. Pero may, may nasilip ako dun sa sinagot nyo kanina eh. The first, I think the first step is to admit that you are not okay. No, many people kasi nowadays, no, they really have to pretend like, I'm okay, I, I, I post something in the social media just, just to show that I'm okay. But you know, it, it doesn't solve. It, does, it doesn't solve kung ano yung nandun sa heart mo. Pag hindi hindi ka okay, no? So, and pangalawa, you, know, you need people. You need the people to help you. It's okay to ask. So, kagaya ng ginawa nga ni Pastor Nia, he asked. Ay, she asked pala. And then, yun nga, pag dumating din sa point na wala ka na talagang mahingan ng tulong, of course, you always turn to the Lord and He will never be our last option, no? May, minsan, dadaan tayo ng Lord sa may problema ka, nasabi mo na sa kanya, di ba? Minsan, nakapag-pray ka na, na, na-heal ka na, pero sometimes, he, he, he leads us to say to our accountability meeting, to share it to accountability meeting, 
para mas ma, mas malaman ng mga tao yung pinagdadaan na natin and and so our brothers and sisters in Christ can pray for us okay thank you po sa mga sagot ninyo and let's hear naman from our um, young professional yan on the side of a young professional Joem Sir Joem Uh, segundahan ko na lang po yung mga sinabi nila. Parang copy-paste na lang. Tapos nagdag edit ko na lang ng konti. And, uh, yeah, uh, agree ako dun sa sinabi ni, ni na Pastor Chris at Pastor Amiya na Pastor Chris at Pastor Amiya na, na you have to admit that uh, what you are feeling is real. Pero we also have to admit na no, our God is real also. So, minsan dun tayo na ano na Uh, we admit that God is real, but we cannot uh, we cannot admit that what we are what we are undergoing through is real, and uh, also vice versa. Na minsan tinatanggap natin tama totoo yung nararamdaman natin na 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 nalulungkot tayo, na di discourage tayo. Pero ayaw nating tanggapin na totoo rin si Lord, na kaya niyang tayong uh, tulungan, yung work kami buhay, yung pinagdaraanan natin ngayon. So I think uh, we have to see the both sides of the coin there that. Our emotions, our circumstances are real, but also our God is real. And when when we see that our God is real and He is much greater than our circumstances, our problems, mas madaling i-encourage yung sarili natin doon na nagawa na niya dati, natulungan na niya tayo dati. He gave us hope in the past. He gave us strength in the past. He, enc- he gave us courage in the past. So, gagawin at gagawin niya ulit yun. God is very faithful on that in our lives. Tapos, on the practical side naman po, uh, hugutin ko lang yung sa Proverbs. Ang sabi doon is that whoever refreshes others will also be refreshed. Minsan, kaya tayo, ano, kaya, kaya tayo mas nababaon sa discouragement because we're disconnecting from people. I think uh, one of the best ways to really encourage ourselves is that kumustahin rin natin yung mga tao sa paligid natin. Minsan yung disconnection natin sa mga tao, yun yung talaga yung ano, yun talaga yung nagfo-fuel ng discouragement natin. And yun yung mas ano, mas nagpapalayo sa atin sa community, sa church, tsaka kay Lord. Yun po. Wow, very insightful Sir Zoem. Thank you sa yung impartation sa amin. Pastor Lotus, if you want to add something to that. Uh, Actually, wala akong i-add. Sinabanggit lahat, no? Yung gusto kong sabihin. <laughs> I-emphasize ko lang. I mean, she's sharing me and the Christ. Very practical, eh. So, pag discourage ka, ang una talagang pupuntahan natin si Lord. Ang sarap nun, eh. Yung meron kang malalapitan anytime, anywhere. Never siyang cannot be rich. No? Never siyang busy. And siya yung, siya yung Lord na pag kakausapin mo siya, hindi mo kailangang i-rehearse yung sasabihin mo. Like, you can say anything that is in your heart but there are times din talaga iaalaw ng lord no na ano eh na parang uh, ipaparamdam niya sa iyo na kailangan mo ng other people no ng community and yung i i testified to that is very effective no yung life group meron tayong life group leader and then idadagdag ko sana na banggit na ni ano eh ni Joe M actually I, I, i just experienced this last sunday no i was i was really discouraged nararamdaman natin yun yung very restless ka hindi mo alam kung saan nagagaling, naiinis ka sa sarili mo or naiinis ka sa tao. And then, hindi ko rin alam kung anong gagawin ko. Like, so ang ginawa ko, I, 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 I sit at the table, I got my phone, nag, nag-browse ako ng messages, tapos nakita ko may mga humihingi ng prayer, may mga humihingi ng advice. So, inopen ko lang, tapos I, I began no, giving advice, giving encouragement. Tapos after ilang minutes, naramdaman ko talaga na wala. <laughs> No, nawala talaga yung heaven. So sabi ko, wow, kailangan lang palang no, pag-discourage ka. Kailangan pa lang palang mag-encourage. No? So we've got to have the right attitude. Actually, nung yung kinikwento ni Mia kanina, no, no, so I was uh, receiving bad news. Tapos siya din, no? siya din, nag-text na ate, ganyan. So pwede kong sabihin, pwede bang ano, solohin mo na yan, may pinagdadaan lang ako, problema, mas mabigat pa. No? Pwede kong i-reply sa kanya. Pero yun nga, I, I, I took time. I took time to to reply no to sa, sa message niya. Tapos yung nga nagulat din siya pala na nakayanan ko pa siyang advice no na may pinagdadaan. Pero yung nga that helped a lot no nung nung nag, nag-encourage ako kay Mia. Ano eh, parang nababawasan talaga yung kabigatan. So tama tama yung sabi ni Joe MM. Discourage ka, find someone to encourage. And before you, before you know it, encourage ka na. Yeah, very practical tip. 
Wow, thank you po. And, and I just want to add then, no? Um, discouragement because it's something na it will destroy our passion. It's something that will destroy our plans. Diba? Ang ganda na ng plinano mo. Pero at one point, parang na-discourage tayo. So it's just a tactic from the enemy to stop us from doing yeah. something great. It will paralyze you. Yes, exactly po. Thank you for that word, Pastor. <laughs> okay, so, ayun po, no? I think Pastor Chris has a very nice question din ngayong gabing ito. Yes po. Actually, parang tanong din to ng karamihan. Kasi parang sometimes... Uh, prayer natin, pag sinagot ng Lord, masaya, nakaka-encourage. Pero paano sa mga situation na pinag-pray natin, pero namatay pa rin yung pinag-pray, or nag yung case, how are we going to encourage them na maging joyful, na in spite na pinag-pray po natin sila, iba po yung nangyari? Ayun po, yung tanong ko po. Uh, G, gusto mong sagutin yan? <laughs> 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 like reverse reverse yung <laughs> roles natin ngayong gabi. Okay. Um, sa akin kasi, I, I, I experienced eh, na mawalan ng uh, mahal sa buhay talaga and really prayed and even, even God showed me something na in my heart na parang makikita ko pa. No? It, it's my dad actually. 2013, he died. But he gave me a dream that yun nga, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. No? So that yun yung word na pinanghawakan ko. So, Um, that time, hindi pa kami Christian lahat. And then, dumating sa point na talagang pray kami ng pray, pray kami ng pray nung kapatid ko na mawin talaga namin yung family. Hanggang sa dumating sa point, nagka, sakit yung daday, tatay ko, nagka-cancer siya, hindi eh, namatay siya. <laughs> parang, ang sarap sigurong tanongin eh, di ba? Parang, Lord, parang, iba ito sa plano mo. Parang, ito, hindi ito yung pinakita mong plano para sa akin. But then, God revealed na He is always in control. Yun yung, lagi siyang in control so He can take away life, uh, He can give life, but at the same time, He is always mindful of us. No, na kahit tayo yung nagpipray na uh, pinagpipray natin na wag, wag sanang kunin ng Lord, pero meron siyang mga decisions na minsan hindi natin naiintindihan. But we can trust Him that it's always the best. No, yung, yung plan ng Lord Ay, yung, yung pinagpipray namin is yun nga, makita, kami, makita namin ng buong family namin going to church. And that was my greatest dream. Hindi talaga siya nangyari. Talagang never na nangyari. Pero, it was the way of the Lord na mawin namin yung daddy namin. Kasi kung hindi siya magkakasakit, hindi niya tatanggapin si Jesus. Hindi siya maniniwala si kay Jesus. Kasi yung, yung background ng daddy ko, yun nga, parang he came from a background na hindi lang, ano, parang they believe in, ano, parang other spirits, existing, yung mga gano'n. Tapos mga minamalunggay, gano'n. Uh, hinahampas ka ng ano, <laughs> dahon ng mangga kapag ikaw ay may sakit, yung gano'n. So, ang hirap, ang hirap talagang i-break nun. Pero yun nga eh, we, we have to be always mindful na si Lord, He doesn't want us to be, you know, unhappy or doesn't have joy. Kasi kung titignan natin yung perspective niya, his thoughts are always higher than our thoughts. So hindi talaga natin pwedeng ipilit yung gusto natin because he is an all-knowing God and all-powerful God. And so, yeah. uh, follow-up question ako sa iyo. Yes. <laughs> yeah, to answer yung question ni Chris. So, uh yeah, after the whole church, no, prayed for your father no na mabuhay pa siya para mag-serve siya sa Lord. And yun nga hindi nasagot uh the Lord took him. So ikaw, parang ano eh, help us. How how ano yung mang, ano yung mga in, uh, ano yung ginawa ng mga tao sa paligid mo na na-encourage ka, no, na magkaroon ka ng ganyang perspective at napag napagtagumpayan, nakatulong para maging uh, ang tawag dito, ma-encourage ka, <laughs> nakatulong para mapagtagumpayan mo ang pagdaanan mo ng maayos, no, yung kumbaga yung adversity na yun sa buhay. Actually, at ano, sobrang simpleng ano lang, bagay ang mga ginagawa ng ano, mga tao sa paligid namin, like the church mates. Nandun talaga sila pag ano, lamay, they come, tapos they visit, they really take time na makipagpentuhan. And alam mo, hindi lang sila pupunta doon para just to show up. They really come and encourage us. And then, yun, si Pastor Sandy talagang kinuha niya yung role na mag- magkaroon ng services. 
no even after the burial, uh, burial so talagang kinuha niya opportunity to really bless the people and and share the word of god and then another thing is hanggang living ko nung no, hindi hindi kami iniwan ng mga churchmates hanggang matapos ang lahat hindi pa talaga kami iniwan and then everybody is kumbaga kasi more than prayers, kasi pag namatayan ka, there, there is no right words na pwede mo talagang marinig. There are no exact yeah. comforting words na pwede sabihin sa'yo ng tao. Eh. Siguro, what really help is, yun nga, yung, yung protection ng prayer nila. Na talagang pinagpipray nila kami emotionally. Kasi mahirap talaga yun. Eh. That's, that's the first time na naranasan namin yun, na immediate family yung nawala. So there are the yes. prayers of the people na sa gaya ng sinabi ni Pastor Alotis, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, the encouragement will come also from the prayers of the people uttered to God. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and, and yun, coupled with the prayers and coupled also with actions, yun. Pumupunta yeah, yeah. po sila, they show they care, and they stay even late at night just just mm-hmm. to be with us kasi walang, wala, na, wala po kaming lalaking kasama sa bahay. So puro kaming babae. So daddy ko lang ang <laughs> Lalaki. So they really show their their care for us. Yeah, no, very practical because I remember when I lost my father also. Ah, uh, yung I, I prayed, no? Ako, ah, madami akong pinagpray na rin na gumaling eh. So nung tatay ko, talaga lumood ako doon sa sa sulok ng ospital na i-revive. Tas talaga nung bumbo yung pananampalataya ko na mabubuhay yung tatay ko pero namatay talaga siya. It was very discouraging and I remember, yun nga eh, pag isang tao discouraged No amount of preaching, hindi preaching ang kailangan, <laughs> hindi sermon, I remember. Parang actually bingi ka eh sa mga ganon. And sometimes nga, magre-reakan, alam ko na yan eh, narinig ko na yan. Pero yung nga, tama yung sinabi ni G, yung presence ng tao. Yung misa nga kahit hindi magsalita. So this is how we will encourage, no, very practical. Paano we encourage no, yung taong yung nga, nawalan ng mahal sa buhay, hindi, uh, hindi gumaling. Yan, just be there. No, be, yung nga, be, yung sabi ni Apostle Paul, be a permanent uh, companion. No, wag mong iiwan, be loyal, be faithful, andyan tayo. Okay, so yun lang. I think si Jo M, oh, naging facilitator na ako. <laughs> Back to you, G. <laughs> Sir Jo, eh? <laughs> Binalik pa din, eh. May copy-paste ko ulit ako. <laughs> sa gundahan ko ulit sila. Yan. Uh, I think, yun nga po. Um, sometimes to encourage others, we do not, uh, hindi natin kailangan magsalita. Kailangan lang natin iparamdam na nandun sila. Kasi often than that, uh, mas mabilis tayo magsalita. But there's that verse in the Bible that we have to be slow to speak and uh, quick to listen. And uh, do, andun yun eh. Uh, I think mas kailangan ng tao ang kaibigan kaysa ano. Mas kailangan ng tao ang kaibigan kaysa preaching sa mga panahon na yun. And the best, uh, the best way to encourage people is to show them that you are there. That you can lend a uh, uh, helping hand. You can lend uh, an ear. Uh, you can lend a shoulder that they can lean on. Yun po siguro yung ano Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kuya Joy. <laughs> okay, we, we also want to acknowledge our pastor, <laughs> senior pastor joining us tonight. Hello po, Pastor Hello, Carlo. Hello, Pastor. Hello, everyone. Ang ganda nung discussion nyo, kaya pumasok ako. Tapos naririnig ko yung ano, companion ni Joe M, yung cricket sa kanyang paligid. Ang lakas ni talagang kung mga cricket sila eh, no? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yung ano yung uh, just just a thought no and uh, actually something that we can see in the Bible. Kasi yun nga yung yung tanong what what happens if somebody loses a loved one or yun nga yung they didn't get the answer to prayer. Particularly yun nga pinag may pinagpe-pray ka na gumaling pero namatay. And and we look at no we look at uh, the Bible and interestingly One of the things that the Lord uh, ordained in the Old Testament was the days you know, whereby people can grieve for somebody. Actually, yung tradition of ano eh, uh, uh, 40 days, no? galing yun sa, ano? galing yun sa uh, 
Judeo Christian belief mo of uh, yung 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 40 days kasi ibig sabihin noon after 40 days uh, ito na yung period na your grieving should be over in other words the point is what even what, what God is telling us as human beings no uh, we, when we lose people when we lose loved one it is okay to grieve tama lang eh yun eh pinag-uusapan niyo kanina eh no sometimes no amount of words no can actually comfort somebody no amount of preaching no sometimes that brings a little of comfort a little encouragement but then again no uh, yung idea talaga that uh, you know you cannot simply dismiss the pain eh. may mga bagay na no like losing a loved one you cannot simply dismiss that so it is absolutely okay to grieve and grieve no if if you should no iyakan mo umiyak ka umagulhol ka you find yourselves no kahit na for example na nalibing na no okay lang yun eh in fact sa bible yun nga merong grieving time in fact sa ecclesiastes di ba sabi there's time no there is a time to mourn okay a time to weep no so malinaw na merong oras para diyan now yun lang ang, ang problema no if you ano yung, yung discouragement or or i mean depression na it's when you go beyond no the set amount time of grieving so yun yung kailangan pag-ingatan natin that a person goes into despair that a person goes into discouragement no na hindi uh, parang nawala na siya ng gana sa buhay yun na yung tinatawag natin despair so naalala ko yung uh, si ano si Saul no when Saul uh, disobeyed God and he rebelled against God, si Samuel was really devastated. No, why Sam, Saul was his? Kumaga parang he ordained King Saul. No, there, he, he, uh, there was a lot of emotional investment for on on the part of Samuel with regards to Saul. He was the first king of Israel, and so when Saul rebelled, no, technically he he backs eh, parang ganon, no. Si Samuel, being the disciple, the pastor, the prophet of Saul, he was devastated. He mourned. Iniyakan niya. Pero after a while, sinabi ng Lord sa kanya, no, tama na yung mourning mo. So, parang okay na. Pinayaan kita. In- iniyakan mo na si Saul. No, now your period of mourning is over. Okay? Go anoint the new king. So, dapat meron, meron tayong ano eh. Merong time na okay okay na nakaiyak na ako no move on otherwise hindi no yun nga mag, magiging in despair na lang tayo so i just want to tell everyone if you lose somebody yes go ahead grieve no but put a in, uh, in god's ano at least in the bible no 40 days yeah okay na yon no? <laughs> that's about enough time to grieve okay move on no uh, uh, refresh yourself. Okay, go on with life. No, uh, no. Hindi wala ng boyfriend mo. Bigyan mo lang siya ng forty days. <laughs> Pwangam forty days lang. <laughs> Move on. Yeah. Okay, so I hope I hope that helps. Thank you, thank you, Pastor Carlon for. Oo nga naman. No? May time naman talaga <laughs> for grieving. But Pastor Carlon, sorry po ano. <laughs> Tatanong ko po, kasi may narinig ako kanya, yun nga yung pag okay lang naman na uh, mag-grieve. Pero paano po natin tutulungan yung mga tao, yun nga, nasa point na sila ng despair, pero hindi pa rin nila na-recognize na it's, yun nga, tapos na dapat yung time ng, or season nila na dapat malungkot sila or mag-grieve. Yung isa pang, ano, yung isa pang, uh, okay, Yung, yung isang root for people you know, becoming discouraged and depressed is really, I think it is rooted in selfishness. You know, kaya nga kanina pinag-uusapan nyo about find somebody to encourage. Okay? And then you realize that dun nawawala yung discouragement mo. Kasi nga ang problema is I think you, you focus too much on yourself. You think the world revolves around you that everything has to parang fall according to your plans and then kung gano'n mo yun nga you, you, you are entitled 
No, you're entitled to be happy, you're entitled to this, you're entitled to that. Basically, pag yun ang pananaw mo sa buhay mo, you, you are all about yourself, then no, ma- ma- madidepress ka talaga, madidiscourage ka talaga. So, uh, yun eh, it's so important to, no, yun, don't focus on yourself. Pangalawa, uh, yun nga, the best encouragement is the Word of God. It, it renews your mind eh. Okay, yun, what does the Word of God do? It basically renews your thinking. So, dahil malungkot ka, dahil may mga nangyaring masama, dahil namatayan ka, no, then apparently your your mind no, turned towards that. Now you have to renew your mind. Okay? And, and it is God's Word that helps us renew our mind. No, So, paano natin tutulungan yung mga taong yun? Yun. No? Speak the Word of God to them. Okay? Uh, you know, there is a time that you need to you know, there is a time to be silent yun nga, hayaan mo lang minsan hayaan mo lang umiyak, no, kailangan niya iiyak eh but then, sabi doon mayroon din time to speak no, so kunyari ka mamatay lang huwag mo munang ano, <laughs> no, no, hayaan mo umiyak siya may more niya, samahan mo siya ang ganun ang sabi ko kanina, minsan kailangan nandun ka lang then, pag nakita mo na medyo ano na, then speak God's word to that person Okay, and help help that person renew their minds. No, the, you will you never get wrong with the word of God. The word of God is very powerful. You know, it is a two-edged sword, no, searching the hearts and you know, piercing the you know, bone and the marrow, searching to the hearts and the minds. So ganun yung epekto ng ano ng word. Eh. Nag speak talaga sa dun sa tao. So speak the word of God. Okay. Thank you, Pastor Carlo. Thank you for that word. What a revelation for tonight. Okay, so, mayroon po tayong isang la- last question na po ito. Since, yun nga, lockdown, we are spending our time with the family and maybe some, some of our Christian friends, you know, they, hindi pa nila nakuha yung um, moment para mawin yung family nila. And yun nga, no, may, alam naman natin, di ba, kapag, may mga times, kasi ako na, na-experience ko din to, may mga times na, yun nga, the, the atmosphere in the house, pag wala talaga yung presence ng Lord, uh, chaotic, and, and one thing more is, wala talagang joy, na in, in, even in the eyes of the children, na nakikita talaga yung, may, may chaos talaga in between uh, the parents. So, eto po, no, in a family na hindi culture ang magtawanan or magkwentuhan, and, and as a Christian, no, ikaw, ikaw yung Christian sa bahay ninyo. Paano po natin mauumpisahan na mag-manifest ang spirit of joy sa bahay? Hmm. Uh, sorry, Alati. Would you like to... <laughs> I think okay, okay, uh, si Chris yata. Gusto sumagot? <laughs> okay. Yung, yung picture doon na hindi nagtatawanan, hindi, hindi nagkukwentuhan, picture yun ng family namin. <laughs> Um, actually, I was the first Christian in the family. I was one to the Lord when I was 17, back in college. And then the picture of our family, wala talagang joy. Uh, I think partly because uh, we are very poor also as a family. So parang araw-araw namin problema yung pera. So parang then nga, focus namin is how to live, how to get by. So ang focus namin, paano kami papasok sa school, paano kami... Anong kakainin namin? So, yun yung nag, uh, nag-consume ng thoughts namin. So, wala talagang joy sa family namin. Up until I, I, I got to know Christ when I was in college. And then, si mama, kinailangan niyang maging OFW para um, na, wala na rin akong papa. para pareho po, Pastor Lotis and Pastor G. So, that was also, uh, I lost my dad before I, wa- I was one to the Lord. Saktong-sakto yung pagkawin ko sa Lord. So, so apparently, uh, it was a picture of a very, ano, parang complaining family, very not, not joyful. And what helped was when I knew about Christ and who I am in the Lord, that I am an ambassador of Christ. I'm not only a member of my family. I'm not only the ate. I'm not only the anak. I, I, I understood that I am also a messenger of Christ in my home. That's when nagkaroon ng joy. Joy in a way na ganun pa rin, wala pa rin kayong pera, problema pa rin ang pagkain, but you you get to inject God's presence in the house through the words I speak, 
through the way I respond during the problem. I remember sabi ng mama ko, uh, yun yung win-win ko pa lang siya. Sabi niya, anong nangyari sa'yo? <laughs> anong nagbago? Bakit ganyan ka na magsalita? Because I was very timid. I will not talk. I don't care. <laughs> I was very silent all the time. But suddenly, I start to encourage my mother. Makakaya natin to. Pera lang yan. Mahanap natin yan. Di bali, at least kumakain tayo three times a day, kahit hati-hati tayo sa mangga, kahit ito lang yung ulam natin. Yung ganun, yung putting the right perspective in, in, the, in the home. Na it's not all about the food that we eat, although it matters because syempre nagugutom tayo. But you putting the right perspective in the family really helps a lot in bringing back the joy that you can still laugh despite the problems, that you can still talk about na hindi tense lagi yung situation sa family, always thinking about the problems. Because you know, that there's actually hope. And pag may Lord ka, may hope. And then that's when I actually, that's also a testimony from my end, that because of that, yun yung speaking the word of God to your family, nawin ko yung buong family ko. Even, gradually, gradually I won my mother to the Lord, next yung bunso, and then ngayon yung entire family nung, nung isa kong kapatid. So that's, uh, I think, the beauty of understanding that it's not about the circumstances. It's actually you understanding your identity in that family so that the joy will pardon, bumalik. <laughs> Yun po. Uh, ako naman po to add, parehas po kaming ano eh, uh, lumaki sa poor family. Pero yung, yung culture po sa family po namin, masaya po sa family, as in nagtatawanan. So may joy po sa family. Pero ang nakita ko po na dahilan is, we are grateful. Ayan po, kahit na ano po yung nasa kapagkainan, kahit tuyo yan, or kahit na simpleng ano yan, mantika na may bagoong. Mm-hmm. Uh, grateful talaga yung pamilya po, nagtatawanan pa kami sa, sa kapagkainan. Siguro makakatulong din na makapag-start ng uh, uh, joyful sa uh, joyful culture sa family yung pagiging grateful natin na kahit simpleng bagay yung nare-receive natin sa Lord uh, if, uh, maging grateful pa rin tayo sa akin naman po in my perspective kahit nung mga time na salat pa po kami sa mga bagay-bagay ayun po yeah um yun tama yung sinabi nila paano mo sisimulan just do it <laughs> Simulan mo lang. Okay? And I, I want to share a, testi- uh, a testimony. Actually, testimony ito ni Ate Justine. Hi, Ate Justine Viernes, kung nakikinig ka. Okay. I've heard her testimony in a women's retreat. It was, it was very powerful. Eh. Tapos ginagamit ko talagang illustration of, for the same situation. At ngayon, uh, Ate Justine, first time live, gagamitin natin illustration. So yung testimony ni Ate Justine is, yung nga, she grew up, yung sa kanya naman, hindi talaga joy, pero pwede natin may apply no? Like, she grew up in a family na wala talagang affection, no? Like, kanya-kanyang kain, pagdating mo, pasok kwarto, kanya-kanyang huga, so wala talaga affection. And then she attended a uh, retreat, no, sa Lupilos Banya. So she was full of the love of God. So puspos siya, no? Umaapaw ang love ng Lord. So gusto niyang i-share, no, sa kanyang family. So pagdating niya sa kanyang, sa kanyang bahay, niyakap niya talaga nanay niya, no? Niyakap niya. Tapos ang reaksyon ng nanay niya, tinulak daw siya. Actually, nung kinikwento ni Ate Justin, umiiyak ba siya? Parang sobrang rejection. So, tinulak daw siya. And then, pero ang ginawa niya, every weekend, nauuwi siya from Los Baños to Quezon City. Niyayakap niya daw, niyayakap niya every, every weekend, niyayakap niya ang nanay niya. And then, at the middle of the semester, gan- ganun pa rin ang nanay niya daw. Like, walang reaction. Pero at least, hindi na siya tinutulak. No? So, tuod pa rin. Walang reaction. Pero at least may improvement. Hindi siya tinutulak. And then, sabi niya, at the end of the semester, like, that week, she was very busy. Exams, assignments, projects, and all. So, pagdating niya ng bahay, nahirapan pa daw siyang, ano, buksan yung gate, no? Parang, ano, kinalawang. So, mainit ang ulo niya, pagod siya. Nakalimutan niyang yakapin ang nanay niya. Ang sabi ng nanay niya, Joy, Joy patawag namin sa kanya noon, eh. Joy. Ah, saan yung yakap mo? Okay, so, all along. No? So, una, yung nga eh, just start it sa una. Don't expect no, to receive. Yung nga, una, ano yan eh, aasarin ka eh, no? Anong nangyari sa'yo, anong nakain mo. So, just do it. So, it's like, ano, it's like sowing seeds. No? So, pag nagtanim ka, yung buto, 
hindi mo nakikita eh. Ilang araw, ilang buwan yan. It's like nothing is happening. Pero deep inside, something is happening. And one day, you know, one day, no, you will see it grow and makikita mo yung fruit. It takes time. So parang yun, ang ganda ng testimony ni Ate Jesus, from then on daw talagang grabe na yun, naging support ng, uh, ng mother niya no? sa kanyang uh, ministry. No, talagang yun, doon nagsimula, nagkaroon ng joy and affection and love sa kanyang family. So yun lang, naalala ko lang yung testimony ni Ate Justin. Ayan. Na, na, na-note niyo ba yung lahat? <laughs> Perspective, gratitude, and of course, take action. No, kung gusto mo talaga mabago yung culture, you do not be afraid to speak up and start a new culture. No, Ganun-ganun din po sa amin. No? Meron kaming time din na hindi, wala din talagang presence ng God. But then, yun nga, keep on inviting. I, I kept on inviting my mother. I kept on uh, inviting her to Sunday services. Dati po dalawa pa ang sa, dalawa pong church ang inaantin na niya. Pumunta siya doon sa isa. Tapos, uh, pag niya gusto, doon naman siya sa kabila. And then, I, I was telling Pastor, Pastor Sandy, Pastor, ano, doon siya sa kabila. Ayan mo lang para makita niya yung difference. So, yun ang nangyari. Nayan, hanggang doon mating sa point na nag-commit na siya, ay, sa Destiny Church na ako aaten. Uh, and then, another culture na naman, no? Nakakilala sa Lord. Um, nagsa Sunday service na another culture is to start a daily devotion. So, if you wanna really to have a change of culture, yun nga, wag tayong matakot na i-impart yung culture na gusto nating makita in our family. No, and so, anybody else po na gusto mag-add, mag-add po dun sa ating last question? Okay, so, Okay, I think wala na. No? So, meron po tayong, uh, to, to wrap this up, no? thank you po sa mga magagandang insights na in-impart niyo po sa amin ngayong gabi. Okay, so we'll just go further po in our reading our prayer requests. So, meron pa po tayong mga prayer requests for tonight. So, I'll be starting a prayer request for Ken Elijah Dormentes. Okay, so may I invite everybody to... Join us in prayer, yung mga nanonood po sa YouTube, saka sa Facebook, and everybody po dito sa ating ano, panel. Can we all um, bow down and literally pray for healing for the following people? Father, we come to you, Lord God. We humble ourselves before you this evening, Lord God, and, and we stand, Lord God, for the healing, Lord God, of Ken, Elijah, Lord, na ngayon pa inuubo at laging sumusuka, Father. Lord, we pray, Lord, na... Let there be healing, Lord God, to come, Lord, sa katawan po, Lord God, ni Ken Elijah, Father. We speak healing right now, O God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray, hipuin mo po ang kanyang um, uh, katawan, Lord, mula ulo, O God, hanggang paa, Lord God. And rebuke, O God, the sickness, O God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we declare, O God, your healing, O God, upon this body, Lord God. Also, we pray, Lord God, for Rafino and Wilma Pulido, Father, for complete healing from COVID, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we apply your blood, Lord, sa uh, mga taong ito, Panginoon. Lord, Lord, ikaw po ang source ng healing, oh God. Even, Lord, pag sinabi pa po ng doctor, Lord God, na um, yung result, Lord God, Lord, sa iyo kami tatakbo, Panginoon, because, Lord, we know that you are the final authority. You have the final word, oh God. And we pray, Lord God, for healing in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we also pray, Lord, for Carol, oh God, Kamens Parale, Paharela, no, Lord God, na Lord, um, she's suffering from anxiety. Lord, Father, I pray, oh God, for that joy, Lord God, Lord, na mag-manifest po sa kanyang buhay, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. If, if you are listening right now, na yung mga pinag-pray namin ngayon. Come on, declare your healing. Claim your healing right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray, O oh God, and we declare peace, Lord. We declare peace and joy, Lord, kay Carol, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord, we continue to pray, Lord God, for Jacqueline Parinas Kalanga, O oh Lord God. Lord, we pray, Lord God, for complete healing, O oh God. 
Lord, we claim it, Lord Jesus, that you will that you will heal her, Lord Jesus, sa kanya pong uh, gird, Lord God. And right now, Lord God, siya po ay nanghihina. I pray, Lord God, that you will strengthen her, Lord God. Lord, we declare, Lord Jesus Christ, na yung miracle mo, Panginoon, Lord God, will be at this moment in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord God, kung ano man po, Lord God, yung nagkukos ng acidity, Lord God, or ng sickness ng, na, ng kanyang nararanasan, Lord God. Lord, we pray, Lord God, that you fix, Lord God, Lord, Lord, that that sickness, Lord God, inside her body, O oh God. Lord, we claim it tonight in the name of Jesus. We apply your holy blood tonight in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And Lord, we also pray, Lord God, for comfort, O oh God. And Lord God, uh, for peace, Lord God, to be upon Lord Malu Castillo, Lord God, re refer so, Lord. Lord, we pray even, Lord God, na, na i-extend mo yung comfort, Lord God, sa kanyang pamilya, Panginoon. Lord, as as they lost, Lord God, their brother, O oh God. Lord, I pray, Father, na Lord, uh, 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 Encourage her, Lord God, as, as as she read your word, Lord God. And Lord, we pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that people around her, Lord God, Lord God, will, Lord God, I, Lord, uh, uh, ma comfort din po siya, Panginoon. Lord, we pray, Lord God, na, na surround mo po siya ng mga tao, Lord God, na, na magiging nandyan, Panginoon, Lord God, para i-comfort din po siya, Panginoon. Lord, salamat po, Panginoon. God, I pray, Lord God, truly, Lord, uh, Ah, uh, ikaw po Panginoon yung magiging reason Lord God para siya po ay maka-move on Lord God. Lord, whatever Lord God the 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 churning in her heart Lord God and whatever doubt or any negative thought inside inside her Lord God. Lord, I declare Lord God that your word Lord God will will encourage her in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, God, for, for the work of healing, God, for your work of miracles that you are doing, Lord, upon, upon our church, upon everyone that we are praying for, oh God. Thank you, God, for, for the healing, Lord. Right now, we claim for the healing of Presi Veloria Consemino, Lord God. Kung ano man po yung pinagdadaanan niyang sakit right now, you know exactly what she's going through. Right now, I pray that you would lay your hand, Lord, upon the part of the body of Resi na may sakit, Lord, I pray that you would heal, God, that part of her body na may sakit, Lord God. I, I pray that you would renew, renew that part, make it function, Lord, according to how you have designed it, O oh God, in Jesus' name, Lord. We believe and we claim for her complete healing in Jesus' name, Lord. And right now, we also pray for Jesus. Faisal Maunga, Lord, Faisal, and yeah. his friends, Lord God. They will receive negative result from their yes. call, from their swab test. Oh God, Lord, I pray, God, that you would, Lord, kung ano man po yung mga symptoms na nararamdaman po nila, Lord, Lord, I pray na mawala na po ito right away. Oh God, strengthen their immune system para labanan ng virus na to, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Lord. Whatever the result, oh God, Lord, I pray, God, that um, this situation will, Lord, just. Allow them to draw closer to you, to believe more in you, to have faith in you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you for the salvation. Thank you for the renewal of faith of Faisal and his friends, O oh God. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Father God, Lord, we pray, Lord God, for COVID man lapas, Lord God. Uh, sa pinag pinagdaraanan niya ngayon, ngayon, Lord God, for healing, Lord God, upon his cancer, Lord God, acidity and dry cough, Lord God, even, Lord God, yung pagbigat ng dibdib niya, Lord God, uh, due to his transient stroke, Lord God, Lord, we pray, Lord God, that these sicknesses, Lord God, will not have a hold in his life, Lord God, but rather you will heal him, Lord God, you will, uh, you will grant him, Lord God that healing, Lord God, so that he can be a testimony, Lord God, to the people around you of how great you are, of how mighty you are, Lord God, over our sicknesses, Lord God. Even, Lord God, we pray for John Kasuga, Lord God, that, uh, that uh, pagkakuha niya ng swab test niya, Lord God, yung result, Lord God, will be negative, Lord God, that he will be free from viruses, Lord God, even his family, Lord God, na makaprotektahan, Lord God, sila, Lord God, from the virus, Lord God, that they will not be... Uh, that they will not be uh, 
they they will not be sick, Lord God, of the virus, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Lord God. Lord, we pray for healing for upon these uh, people, Lord God, so that uh, so that you can be glorified, Lord God, so that people will come to know you, Lord. Lord thank you, Lord. We love you, in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, Amen. may mga praise. Let, may let me just yes. uh, no, no, pray, pray for one more person. You know, si, uh, si Brother Jed, now, uh, husband ni Jane, isa sa mga members natin sa Manila. No? Yung nag-positive uh, din siya for COVID. Uh, allow me to just pray for, for Jed, the Lord. We just pray for Jed right now. I pray, Lord God, for a quick recovery. No complications, Lord. Lumawag pa po, Panginoon, yung kanyang paghinga. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let them let the infection, uh, bacterial and viral both be flushed out of the system, Lord. And I pray that you would regain your strength, his strength, Lord God. And Lord, you makasama niya sa bahay with people protection na hindi po sila mahawa, Panginoon. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Okay, may mga praise report po tayo. But before ko i-share yung praise report, uh, may sinend din sa akin na, na prayer request dito sa aking kasambahay. Uh, pag-pray po natin si Pastor Sandy. Uh, ap- apat na araw na po siyang sinisinok. <laughs> so, uh, actually, it's, it's actually disturbing him. Hindi siya makatulog sa gabi. Kanina nag-contact siya ng wedding. No? Akala ng mga tao, binibitin niya lang yung kanyang words. Pero talagang uh, it's distracting him. So, let's pray for him. Kasi bukas magpapacheck up na talaga siya kung ano yung cause ng kanyang 24 Renai, hours. Tre- Trinay niya na ba yung ano, mga ways para mawala ang sinok? Opo, is, kuya. Opo, opo. Yung, yung water, yung sasabayan mo. May, may mga iba pa po. I-PPM ko sa inyo. <laughs> Sige. <laughs> may, para, hindi mag uh, uh, dito yung iba. Ako mag-pray para sa kanya. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lord, Sige po, kuya. For, Lord, Sige we po. pray for Sandy, Lord God, na mawala yung kanyang pagkasinok, whatever's causing that. Uh, we pray, Lord God, that uh, it will become normal right now in Jesus' name. Even at this moment, Lord God, we speak, Lord God, for uh, Lord, mag mag normal panginoon yung kanyang uh, uh, Lord, whatever is causing that hiccup to be uh, to to be gone, to disappear in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Wow, thank you Pastor Carlo. Ayan honey ah, si Pastor Carlo pa talaga nag-pray sa iyo. You're healed in Jesus name. Ayan. Okay, so praise report, praise God. Si Neri Gaton at ang kanyang anak na si Cloud Carlos ay malakas at magaling na po sila sa quarantine area. Yay! So to win, uh, makakauwi na sila. So praise God. So keep the prayer request coming at yung mga praise reports po ninyo no, para ma-celebrate po natin bilang buong church din. So before we... Uh, ah, Ate G, meron kang kailangan sabihin. Sa'yo pala to. Okay. Anyway po, no, pati po yung mga friends natin in Destiny Baguio, si na Jason po at saka si na Zion, I think last day na ata nila. Today or yesterday, no, makakalabas na rin sila sa kanilang mga lungga. <laughs> Yun po. Praise God, no, sa kanila po. Ah, uh, yun po, no, yung mga hahabol po na prayer request, we will forward it sa ating Don Watch prayer meeting. So, uh, stay tuned po tayo doon. Tomorrow, that's 5 a.m. So, um, ito po, no, key for having joy is actually the presence of God in, in building an altar in our houses. So, we want to invite everyone to uh, wake up <laughs> at 5 a.m. No, tomorrow and join us in our prayer meeting po. And then, Bible study will be on... SOD Bible study will be on tomorrow din po, no, 7 p.m. So that will be aired on SOD FB page and Destiny YouTube channel. And another LG will be aired on Thursday. So live online LG din po yun. So you invite many of your friends na hindi po nakaten ngayong gabing ito. You can invite them on Thursday. Yun lang po. So may we ask pala si Pastor Alotis to close us in prayer. Okay, yes, don't miss Thursday live group ang aking beshi na si Pastora Rochelle Gonzalez ang magsishare. So abangan po natin yan. Sige po, let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for tonight. Thank you for everything that we've learned. Lord, I pray that we will continue to grow deeper in knowing you and 
Thank you, God, for the book of Philippians, oh God, that is becoming a source of blessing to us. God, I pray let there be a spirit of joy, oh God, in every home, in every family, oh God, to the whole Destiny Church and everyone, oh God, that is uh, being invited and joining us, Lord, in this great family. We thank you, Father. We give you back all the praise, all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless amen. everyone. Amen. See you at prayer Bye. meeting. Bye-bye po. Bye.